direct from Albany, New York, it's time for The Media Zone with your hosts, Ed and Dave. Tonight, a look at this week's new film and DVD releases. And the chance to win free movie tickets with the Poster Pairs game. And now your hosts, Ed and Dave! Hello and welcome to the Media Zone. Ed and Dave here. Ed and Dave. Just he in head and Dave? Head and Dave. Oh, I thought you said head. Head. Well, head. Uh, okay. Some kind of odd. I just look, I was distracted by the coloring. I remember we had trouble with this coloring one time. But we'll see. We're, we're going with it for Christmas. It's very festive. Yeah, d uh, something was askew with the, maybe it was with the YouTube version. But it looks nice here if everything works out. Oh, look at that. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, I wasn't here for the decorating party that. Uh, took no, we place. had we had that last night. Did you? The media zone crew was here oh, late really? into the evening. Day. By <laughs> that, by crew, you mean you? Um, me and Jim, the okay. producer, were producer here. Jim, all right. Uh, blowing off the dust from the bag of <laughs> <laughs> holiday props and um, decorations for you at home. So when are you uh, going to do your Christmas shopping, Ed? On the twenty fourth? Yeah. Probably. No, a little before that now. Really? I don't have a lot of people to buy for, so I go out sometime, uh, you know. And, uh, you don't have to buy for anybody, you know. That's not the meaning of Christmas. No, it's not. <laughs> Did you get me? Uh, remember last year I got everybody gifts? I didn't do that this year because, as you know, we're taping the Christmas shows here. Right. And you notice there's no boxes or bows or ribbons. <laughs> the Grinch has stolen them. Oh, dear. What I get? I got you a... Uh, Alice Cooper item. What was it? A bag or a lunchbox? I got. I think everybody lunchbox related items. Didn't I get you the, the Land of the Giants lunchbox? What the hell's my Alice Cooper lunchbox? I got you something, Alice Cooper. It wasn't a bobblehead, was it? From the store? Oh yeah, I got a bobblehead. You got the bobblehead. I got a bobblehead. Phew. Huh? Restaurant menu. <laughs> the menu that which they wrapped the bobblehead in. Oh right, right, right. Yeah, so I tell you, Chris, I might have done something like that this year, but Christmas is coming upon us so fast, Dave. Oh, faster this year than last year? It is because uh, Thanksgiving was late. Yes, it was. I'm looking at the double color shot I have here. What double color oh. shot? What are well, you half, talking about? Half is blue and half is gray. I'm a Where? Go back. I, oh, I feel like you. I'm on the old the Civil War battlefield here. Oh, dear. With the blue and the gray. Oh, it's very uh, attractive. <laughs> <laughs> to have multicolors, yeah, because we're we're in gray and black. Yeah, you're which not is for the festive holiday season. Well, it's for the festive non-pixelation, which we're not having here, right? It doesn't look like it. And we have the same, uh, unless the uh, <laughs> the uh, what do you use hot glue on the buttons over there? <laughs> that might be part of the problem here. <laughs> All right, what do we have tonight? Oh, today? we got movies. Uh, we got movies a lot of galore. movies. I guess these... get, it's the season, Ed. The big movies are coming out for the big holiday season, aren't they? I don't even know. What do we got? Well, they are The Hobbit. The Hobbit. Annie, which has already been leaked online by the North Koreans. <laughs> <laughs> did you hear that? I did hear something about that. Uh, they were mad at that uh, interview movie, which is we're doing next week. Right. That they were going... Oh, that'll, 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 that'll show us. Let's leak the movie Annie. Yeah. Nobody gave a damn. I'm sorry, King Wang Hu or whatever <laughs> your name is. Jong Hu. Uh, Kim Jong Il or whatever. Yeah. I don't know. They leaked a couple. What were the other ones? I know it was Annie. Why are any of our films even being shown over there? Well, they, they had ha hackers get in there oh. and leak one to the web. They were trying to destroy the... Oh, dear. Little did they know, they weren't hitting the big box office on that one. And the salaries were revealed. <laughs> oh, they were oh, revealed were they? salaries for Annie? Wow. I wonder how much... Seth Rogen made $8.5 Oh. For what? The interview? Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Mm. Wow. Well, boy, those North Korea. Well, well, something good coming out of North Korea. <laughs> Giving yeah. us that inside information. Yeah, why not? Leak that thing. And yeah. then what else? Uh, the uh, new Kenny Rogers film. The Gambler. Oh. It's coming out. <laughs> Gambler. Did they do four of those Gambler oh, movies? Know. I don't know. I swear to God, if he's in this, I'm going to vomit. All right, well, should we just get into Let's the Let's go uh, with The Hobbit. The Hobbit. 
the Battle of the Five Armies. Starring Kate Blanchett, Orlando Bloom, Elijah Wood, Hugo Weaving, Ian McKellen, Christopher Lee, who is still alive, <laughs> believe it or not, and Andy Serkis. Always a good uh, ape person. Are there mm -hmm. apes in this? Because that's what he does. He There's does golems. Apes. That's what he is in this one. Is he? Okay. The Hobbit, the Battle of the Five Armies, is the epic conclusion to Peter Jackson's trilogy of films. Oh, a, there's trilogy of Hobbit films? Yeah. Okay. Adapting the enduringly popular masterpiece, The Hobbit, by J.R.R.R.R.R. Tolkien. The film concludes the adventure of the title character, Bilbo Baggins, mm. <laughs> whom I believe I saw in a porno film. Bilbo Baggins, who joins the wizard Gandalf and 13 dwarves led by Thorin Oakenshield. I should have read this ahead of time. On an epic quest to reclaim the lost dwarf kingdom of Erebor. Is that right? Erebor? Right, yeah. There's Christopher Lee. We just saw I him for a brief them. second. You know, those British folks have bad teeth to start with. I wonder how they look when you're in your 90s. Uh, well, that's like 90 year old British teeth. Do, like, do they even have any? Is, you know, two seconds. Yeah, I think those are his original Dracula teeth he has. Wow. I've not seen a Hobbit film. Or what's the other ones? A Lord of the Rings. Yeah, I haven't seen any of those either. Anyone do? Should I? Is that I, a... I will watch them through once just to do it. Just to I, I'll probably never do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably watch these. What about the Harry Potter films? Once through. I watched the first one. I have them all, Dave. You have them all. I got them at the various Thanksgiving uh, Black Friday events uh -huh. for probably like three dollars. Okay. I watched the first one. Haven't got through the other ones yet. I think I'd rather sit through the. The hell, the, the Harry Potter than this one. There's no humor in these films. That's the problem with them for me. I don't know. I oh, I find humor in the ears. They're all and they're, pointy. They're big feet. <laughs> Look at these fine creatures. Ah, <sighs> Battle of the Five Armies. Apparently, yeah, yep, there it is. Apparently, Christopher Lee was in all three of the Hobbit films. And only two of the other ones. Hmm. But thank God he's still alive. He, hang to, in, he uh, hung in there. He made it through his two Star Wars appearances and his three Hobbit films. Now, wasn't Richard Harris in one of them? And That was... Um, was that the Lord of the Rings? Harry Potter. Harry he Potter. And he, uh, he kicked so he could not continue. They needed a new Dumbledore. Who, who took his spot? Uh, unknown actor. Okay. There's your new Dumbledore. I had to move... I'm sorry, folks. I had to move my chair... It was discomforting to me, so I had to move it during that. It day. was a little disconcerting as I was trying to read. The, I know. Uh, I don't like to do that to you, but... Uh, but you did it. Yeah. It, should, it, was not, it was facing this way and not this way, since most of my time... What? No, no. There was no action. You couldn't just move your body. No. You couldn't that. make that little adjustment of your body. Instead, you had to just... Uh, what, you know, whatever. 30 years, and you can't... 30 years. And you just can't... You know, uh, whatever. Go, go do your movie. You know, uh, 30 years, even back 30 years when we were doing this and starting out, Dave, <laughs> we were much better than some of these. The producer found uh, on the one of his apps on his smart TV, uh -oh. they have the morning announcements from every high school in the world. Really? Or in the country on there. And they have kids with no talent of any kind <laughs> <laughs> reading <laughs> the morning announcements. I think out of all we saw, two, two girls had a little bit of uh, personality okay. and a set, but uh, really, oh, wow. really bad, yeah. I can't believe they had that on the TV. That's oh, yeah. Funny. Speaking of that, by the way. Okay. What elementary school did you go to? Maywood. Oh. I went to Roselleville. Uh-huh. And I just, I don't know how I discovered this, but I, for some reason, now we're, now we're going back 40 yeah. plus years. I remember the principal, Mr. Francisco, mm -hmm. and I just happened to stumble upon his obituary. Oh, jeez. He was 85. Calvin Francisco. Hmm. 85. I died in 2008. Was, October 8th, 2008. 2008. You just stumbled upon. How yes. did you find that now? Oh, you can just do a search. Oh, you were searching for I just him. happened to, yeah, when I was searching for <laughs> someone else's uh, obituary. Another teacher. That and, there, and there came Calvin Francisco. And there was this picture. I'm like, oh, that's uh, the old uh, principal. 85. Huh. Did you look up Mr. Mooney? He's long gone. Nah. What's his first name? 
Frank? Oh. Frank J. Mooney. Was it? Yeah. Yeah, I'll have to look that up. Like Rocket J. Squirrel. Oh. It was Frank J. Mooney. He's well, long gone. Oh, I remember him singing in our class. <laughs> Speaking of singing, uh, next week, if you'd like, write in if you'd like to hear Dave and I sing a lovely rendition of Santa Baby. Right. Sure, I write have. in, because once, yeah. once we get your write-in request, the show <laughs> would have been three weeks old already. So write this, in. This is we'll theater. pretend like you had a say in it. <laughs> this is Theater of the Mind Day. Is it? Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Speaking of theater of the mind and of theaters, what's our next film here? It's Annie. Annie. This is Leaked the one. Leaked by Kim John Il. Right. If you want to pay for it now, here you, here's your chance. But why bother? <laughs> Jamie Foxx. Ooh, Dave. Kuven. Kuven Shane Wallace. Oh. I'm going to call her Q. Q. Just like the James Bond uh, armor. Okay. Rose Byrne and Cameron Diaz. So this is the hip-hop version of Annie. Right. It's modern. <laughs> the, it's been modernized. Modernized a little bit. Ooh, don't get hit. Wow, he could have slowed down. <laughs> Ever since her parents left her as a baby, little Annie has led a hard-knock life with her mean foster mother, Miss Hannigan. Or Miss Colgan. Miss <laughs> Colgan. However, that all changes when hard-nosed billionaire and mayoral candidate Will Stacks <laughs> takes her in on the recommendation of his advisors. Stax believes that he's Annie's guardian angel, but the plucky youngster's confidence and sunny outlook may mean that Annie will save Will instead. Wow. There you go. This isn't the uh, Daddy Warbucks Andrea McCardle Annie. <laughs> no, it's not even Daddy Warbucks. It's uh, Will Stax. <laughs> will Stax. Are, they, are we going to have the, the sun will come out tomorrow? Is that what we're going to have That's in that here in the hard not what I'm just thinking these girls are all over the place in the Macy's Thanksgiving mm -hmm. parade promoting this film. And it was ruined by a North Korean oh. name. Just one North Korean face? <laughs> I yeah. And his a team of... Uh, now, does he have hair or not? Because <laughs> well, that, the, well, Daddy Warbucks is bald. Right. So... That's how we're going to... Okay, that's how we're going to do gonna it. We're going to connect the characters in that respect. Because Jamie Foxx has hair. He does have hair. That's like what they did with Lex Luthor in the Superman. Where at the very end of the film, to save <laughs> on the uh, special effects makeup, that he took the wig off and he was bald. Oh, right? there you go. I can't think of his name. Gene Hackman. Gene Hackman retired. You haven't He's seen... He's been him. retired. Oh, that's the new one. He was bald, or did he shave, do the same? He was bald. He was bald. He went ahead and shaved. Gene Hackman has been retired for a few years, and now he just writes novels. Oh, does he? He does. I like to read one of his and, books. Uh, because just of like, uh, what's his name's retired, too? Um, uh, Sean, Sean Connery. Yeah, he disappeared. He, well, he did that leave Extraordinary Gentleman, yep. and he decided it's time to get out. That's how he bowed out. He should have bowed out what, whatever was before that one. Oh, well. All right. You're up next, Ed. I'm up next Keep again. Keep it going. Keep it rolling. Night at the Museum. There you go. With Ben.